What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are offshore the east coast of Florida right now fishing the Sailfish Challenge with my girl crew, which y'all already know Shelby. Hi. We got Maddie. We got Lacey, which you guys have not met, hey. but she's on our team as well. We have Dusty, she's inside right now. This is actually her 80 foot Viking, the surf bum. We got our mates, we got Derek, who's the kite master over here. We got Spencer. Corey, say hi to all your fans, Corey. I don't have any fans. <laughs> Corey is super thrilled about life, if I don't say so myself. But okay, I'm gonna go in here real quick. Let me hit this button. Was it 80? Was it 80 last time? And this is the inside of the 80 foot Viking. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour. It's absolutely gorgeous. Our stuff is everywhere right now. But this is Dusty's boat that we are fishing on and all the bedrooms and bathrooms are downstairs right there. So this tournament is two days of fishing and today is day one. We have 11 minutes until we can put our lines in the water. Thank you. We are kite fishing the next two days in this tournament. We already have the kites up in the, up in the air right now, but we have no lines in the water, so. Once this clock hits eight o'clock, we're gonna put the lines in and we're gonna get to fishing. Now, what's crazy is the past two days of fishing, it was pretty much a hurricane out here. I did pre-fish yesterday, caught a couple sailfish. We were six to seven on sails. And I mean, we had waves coming over the back of the boat, super rough. And of course, the day of the tournament, it's a full moon and it is absolutely gorgeous out here as you guys can see. So right now we're gonna wait till eight o'clock and then start fishing. So Lacey is gonna do a <laughs> prayer before we get to fishing. Coming in. All right. Dear God, thank you for this day and this opportunity to do what we love. Uh, bless our team with unity, skill, and patience today. Um, we're so thankful for the beauty of nature around us and the bonds that we've formed with each other over sport fishing. Um, Please keep us and our families safe and healthy and send us the sailfish we've been preparing for so we have the opportunity to win. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Get awesome. it. Get awesome. That was beautiful. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Stopping the kite there. Yes. So this is your long. I'm going out first. This line's in, right? So now that it's eight o'clock, we can set out our kite fishing lines. Now on each kite, there's three lines. There's a long a mid and a short. So first we set out the long line with the bait. We let the kite out and probably leave about 20 yards in between each bait. That way they don't get tangled with each other. So the long goes out, the mid goes out, and now the short is about to go out. Once everything is set out, you'll see that there is a cork with about a 15 foot leader that is meeting up to the hook and the live bait. The goal is to keep your bait in the water. If the kite goes up, you gotta let out a little line. If the kite goes down, you gotta reel up some. So you're pretty much looking at a cork all day, waiting for a bite. Oh, seal, seal, seal. Watch your foot, Shelby. Oh, the lung, the lung's getting, um, the lung's getting a bit. Hey, the lung's getting a bit. A double here, so everyone play. Call fish, call fish. 
All right, day one of the tournament is complete. We managed to catch seven out of nine bites. So seven sailfish total caught for our boat. And right now it is day two of the tournament and we are set out to catch some more sailfish. If you guys know anything about fishing, well, today is a full moon. That means that all the fish have been feeding all night. Therefore, it's gonna be a little bit trickier to catch fish today. Young hooked up to a sailfish. Holy shit! Oh, hey. 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 
today and that was probably what around like maybe 11 o'clock super early yeah super early in the day which dragged out the day two minutes before lines were in at four o'clock at 358 something ate my bait didn't feel like a sail bite at all a real tight on some type of fish and it was a sail it did get wrapped so it took a little bit longer to reel in than normal but we got a sail fish and it was just an epic way to end two full days of sail fishing here for the sailfish challenge in Palm Beach Florida and we're celebrating with a little charcuterie here that I just spent probably about 20 minutes making and it's probably gonna be about five minutes to eat it. So we actually have some new guests on board. Um, I know I introduced everyone on day one, but today is day two because it's a combination of two days for the tournament. We have Miss Amber. Hi guys. We have Dawn back there. Yeah. We have, oh, we have DJ. DJ was with us last hey, year. Hey, DJ. DJ. <laughs> DJ. <laughs> And we have Noah right here, who is another professional photographer on board with us. And we got Mike over here who supplied the charcuterie supplies for us. <laughs> right now we are gonna enjoy this charcuterie board. We're gonna go outside and take some pictures before the sun goes down. We have a long ride in back to Jupiter because we are taking the intercoastal and we're just cruising on up. But however, before I end this video, I'm going to take it back to the Pescadora last week with these gorgeous ladies. And we fished the Pescadora, which is an all ladies tournament based out of Cuepos, Costa Rica. We didn't do as well as we thought we would, but however, we had a blast. We caught some sailfish and had a really good time. And there were some really cool monkeys outside of our house. <laughs> the monkeys were so cool. I want to bring one home. I don't know what they were, but they were super little and I wanted one to climb on me, however, I didn't want it to bite me, but it was super cool. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of Costa Rica and then this video is coming to an end. 